three bros decided to visit three separate events all honoring 9-11. I'm Mazel. I'm, uh, I've been with Three Rivers Council for about uh, six years now. We got together and decided to make an honor guard uh, that, would, that would incorporate uh, veteran participation and also uh, teach the scouts, mentor them, right? Help with the patriotism. <laughs> It's been a busy uh, weekend for us. I'm here at the Boy Scouts Patriot Education Day. They had like a yeah, half a mile walk. And now they're here stopped at the Jefferson County Courthouse and learning a little bit about the history. And uh, pretty uh, nice day, good day to be outside. And I used to be a Boy Scout, so it's a cool for, thing for me to vol be volunteering at this event. After the Boy Scout event, I headed off to the Memorial Stair Climb. Hey guys, I'm here at the Memorial Stair Climb. I'm here with Tony, you remember him? He's one of our honorary third bros. But this is a pretty cool thing, uh, to dedicate for 9-11, right? Right, right, right. This, I'm um, running for ESD3, Service District 3. It's out in West Jefferson County, uh, China. What, what do you know about this event? I just know that it's 110 story. You're gonna have to go up and down seven times. Okay. As far as I know, you're gonna ride the elevator down. Oh wow! And then walk back up. You gonna ride an elevator down, or you gonna? Oh, you can, I guess you can't, cause like everyone's because everyone's so crowded. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But this is pretty cool. I see like all the different fire departments are here supporting, and uh, other people. I mean, I'm guessing who are not in, in the who's not part of the fire department service are, are doing it too. It's for fire department, uh, EMS. I think we're about to get started. Okay, well, let's go check it out. I'm still here at the Memorial Sierra Climb. I decided to change my shirt to my Great American Hero uh, shirt uh, because I think it's more appropriate, especially since this is like uh, an event for 9-11. So I remember where I was during 9-11. I think I was doing my master's in Houston and my brother called me and he's like, we're getting attacked. And I was like, what's going on? And uh, you know, it was very devastating to hear what happened and you know, all those people who lost their lives trying to help those uh, during a, a tragic uh, scene over there during 9-11 uh, uh, is, is a sad thing. So I, I appreciate this This is done uh, for those uh, who lost their lives and, and, and remembrance. And as you can see here, for those who are participating in this event, they get these little badges in, and these are, are people that have lost their lives during 9-11. And, uh, you know, I'm glad to be a part of this event. Jessica Garza, firefighter EMT. It's a 9-11 stair climb. It's 110 flights. Uh, it's a tribute to the fall of 343. There is nationwide and statewide. We didn't have one locally in this area, so we wanted to be able to put one up. My name is Jacob Rodriguez. I work for Port Arthur Fire Department as an engineer. Uh, and I came out today just to kind of show support and, you know, give remembrance to everything that happened long ago. My name is Tate Reyes. I am in Troop 181 and 9-11 means a lot to me because I watch the firefighters as they go up, rescue people, and save and they're saving people's lives.
Porter. Did you Porter? Your grandpa. Yeah, yeah. We I heard him. Yeah. That's because of the monk. Okay. We can 29 normally. How was it for you? Meh, nah, ain't no joke. But it's worth it. So what, what made you decide to do this? Um, just to honor the man. You know what I mean? I'm a firefighter, they're a fireman. And all of the lives that was lost. You know, just to honor them. My last stop for the day would be the Memorial Walk in Vida, Texas. That event was pretty cool and uh, uh, I'm appreciative that they held it on. Hopefully they'll keep uh, continuing that uh, year after year. That's the first time event. Now I'm here in Vida. Uh, there's another event. Uh, it's actually like a 10 mile walk to honor those uh, on 9-11. So uh, gonna check this out. I'm actually here at the Orange County v Vietnam War Memorial. I never even knew about this, that this existed. So, pretty cool. I think they probably uh, went ahead of me. I might try to run and catch up, but we'll see how this goes. You can see I, I got uh, a little flag uh, painting done. Let's go check out this memorial before I go join the walk. I ended up deciding to join them at the halfway point, to join them at the 4.5 mile mark, and then do the rest of the walk with them. Hi, yeah, my name is Larry Williams. I'm a captain with Refinery Terminal Fire Company. This is our second annual 9-11 uh, walk, honoring the fallen firefighters and uh, first responders at the World Trade Center. So, you know, kind of the reason we're holding this event is, uh, you know, we're 21 years uh, past, uh, you know, September 11, 2001, and, and uh, we're seeing generations come up behind us. They don't see the significance of 9-11 like we do. Um, so we want to continue to uh, allow people opportunities to remember. Is everybody that died on 9-11, 2001, and uh, February 26, 1993? Every name. Firefighters will put on their heavy gear and get on their way to finish this walk to honor those who had fallen during 9-11. I kind of came in late, but uh, I'm going to join them for the walk to remember and, you know, honor those who've fallen and uh, as they finish like their 9.11 miles. I'm not wearing any, you know, heavy gear like they are, so it's it's going to be a lot easier for me. But it's it's pretty honorable that they're going to be wearing this to honor those who were fallen during 9/11. Well, my company was going to do a nine point or a, a shorter walk. Yeah. So I asked my guys, my firefighters, and said, uh, "Y'all want to do a nine point one one mile walk in, in gear instead of doing the run?" And uh, they were like, "Yeah, absolutely." So we got together about five days before we started promoting. Not near enough time, you know. Yeah. yeah. We started. Uh, we started at the high school right here, Ryder. Uh huh. And we started walking, just had my wife behind us in a pickup truck with the flashers on. And we hit, uh, when we walked down Orange Street, then we hit uh, Highway 105. We were swarmed with three or four Biter PD cars. Oh, wow. And they stayed with us the entire time. Just this right here, the, the cars stopping and, and paying their respects and, you know, their support. It's, it means a lot to us, but it ain't about us. It's about them. Welcome. Texas weather was getting hot and I was lucky I wasn't wearing a full gear like the firefighters were. So every couple miles the firefighters would stop and cool down and take a breather before they would go on and their way.
Every mile it got harder, but there was no quit in the firefighters. They were going to get that 9.11 miles. Josh Rodriguez, uh, we just com uh, completed the uh, 9.11 mile walk. Everybody made it, I gotta say, I am tired. Uh, but I don't think it compares to what those gentlemen did that day. Uh, small price to pay, but I feel like <clears throat> events like this will keep their memory uh, living on and on. And uh, proud of everybody who completed and everybody who showed up to help us and just uh, even just waving flags on the road. It was pretty cool to see finally. Hi, I'm Misty Sange, Mayor for the City of Vider. I participated in the 9-11 walk today that Larry Williams organized. Um, it was an amazing event. It was tough, guys, I'm not going to lie, but it was so worth it. We appreciate everybody that stopped and allowed us to continue to go. We look forward to organizing the event in advance next year, hopefully getting more people on board. We never want to forget, so please always remember those that lost those lives in 9-11, and next year join us to celebrate their memory. Just got done. That was a great experience, great thing to do. Honorable cause, remember 9-11, I, I still remember it. And I don't think anyone should forget about it. Honor those who were fallen and uh, let's hope it never happens again. So, appreciative to join them with for their 9.11 walk and hope to you know, be able to do this again. Finished up with this. Last event, uh, my friend Sherry ended up driving me back to my car because I kind of came kind of late. I want more events like this to happen. I want people to be active and I want people to be out there and do the same things that we're doing. That's what we're trying to do with our race. Uh, you know, we want to get people to be active and be out there and not have to drive all the way to like, like Houston. Uh, we encourage you guys, if you are in Southeast Texas or anywhere, come out to our next event, the Big Pumpkin Run, October 8th in Orange, Texas. It's gonna be a fun event. So remember, we're three bros running company. Trying to bring big city races to cities across Texas. Three bros. Out.